Supreme Rising, Supreme Rising, beloveds, how are you guys doing? I am doing wonderful. I'm doing great. I wanted to come on <clears throat> today and I have some, what I feel is very important information for you. But before we get into that information, I want to welcome my new subscribers um, to Leila Awake. I am your Black Empowerment Content Creator and I want to welcome you here and I thank you so much for showing interest in my channel. I appreciate you and welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I, as I say all the time, I am here for you guys. I do what I do because I love my people and I know how much we guys, we all, guys, we've all been through so much and we are in the process now of being repaired. I use that word interchangeable with uh, we're being um, fixed. We are healing, you know, the universe and the most high is and uh, Mother Gaia is fixing everything. The planet is being fixed. It's being uh, repaired and all of that. So we're a part of it. We are nature and nature is us. And so we're in this process of being, um, you know, rejuvenating and all of that good stuff. And so I am a part of that process. I am walking in my purpose and my purpose is to help uplift and help my people return to our original selves. And so I love what I do. It's all divine and that makes it even better. So I'm glad that you're here. Um, I wanted to say that the next thing I want to ask you to do, guys, is to like the video. Uh, if you would like the video and share the video, please, I would appreciate that very much. And then we're just going to get right into uh, the topic. I do have a video for you as well. So I want to talk about what's coming. And um, I'm going to let Dr. Umo Johnson give you some elaborate um, here shortly in this short video that I have. But I can remember, guys, do you remember when we were... People in my age group, I was in um, grade school in the 70s. So I can remember when we had trade school. We had trades classes where they taught us how to do hands-on things like uh, plumbing and elect electrical work and um, all kinds of, they, they taught us how to, we had a home ec class, class where we, they taught us how to sew how to cook, you know, how to clean, all of that stuff. And they all of a sudden they took that away. And I'm sure many of you guys know by now why they took it away. Well, the situation we're in right now and how we are preparing to, to leave this old world and go into the new world, and those of us that are going to remain here, be, be blessed to still be here, we're going to have to make some changes. In order to create this new world, we're going to have to go back and do some things because, you know, guys, they're trying their very best to destroy this planet before they completely disappear. That's what they're trying to do. So we're going to have to go back and begin to learn how to uh, take care of ourselves health wise, you know, with the natural things that our the, the natural medicines and herbs and stuff. We're going to have to go back and learn how to do a whole lot of stuff, how to how to build you know, uh, from the ground and just all of that stuff that our ancestors used to do. We're going to have to go back and learn that stuff. And the one thing is, you know, they, they tricked us into all going to college and gave us these frivolous um, degrees. Many of, many, many of our people went to school and we got these degrees that we can't even use. And, you know, and if you really want to know the truth, that was a trick too. That was a money grab and a trick. And so... You know robots are here. They're putting these robots in all these places. These companies, many of these companies are laying off people. And they're putting these robots in these stores, in these corp companies, corporations. and uh, Robots are like taking over everywhere. And so there's not going to be a lot of jobs. And, you know, the type of jobs that many of us are used to, those jobs are pleading out. So... 
guys, we're going to have to learn some trades. We're going to have to put out, make sure our children know that you encourage them to learn how to do some things with our hands, do some trades, because that's going to become necessary in these next years to come, 20, 29, 20, 30, you know, and on past there, you know, things are going to be quite a bit different than what we see now. It's coming, guys. It's really, really coming. So we got to prepare for it. We got to prepare for it. So these robots, they, they're bringing them here to take over these jobs that we're used to, you know, the jobs that are common here. And so we're going to have to learn how to do some stuff, you know. So trade school is going to look real good. That's, going, that's, going, that's where I'm going to encourage you to uh, encourage your children and your grandchildren to become interested in, to kind of figure out, you know, what are their skills and their gifts and think about picking out a, uh, a trade and so they can learn it and so we can be able to, you know, and, and also, guys, we're going to be going into a barter system. There's so many changes coming. But I'm going to let Uma share with you um, some of the things that he is 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 uh, telling us that is going to take place. And he's, he's hitting it right on the head. And so I'm going to let him tell you in this little short video. Um, I saw this this morning and I was like, wow, somebody, one of my faithful uh, subscribers emailed this to me and I, and I said, I got to get this out to, to you. So guys, hold on a moment. Let me get it ready so you can hear. Graduates to trade school. Okay. Unless they're going to be a doctor, a nurse, a teacher, and an engineer, send them to trade school. Automation is going to eliminate oh, so many sales jobs. Oh, Automation is going to eliminate half of the workforce in this country in the next this. 25 years. By the time we get to 2030, by the time we get to 2030, by the time we get to 2030, I think this country is going to be in a serious social unrest because so many people are not going to be able to get a job due to automation. Automation is going to kill the economy because if people can't buy nothing, the corporation can't make nothing. If the people can't buy nothing, the corporation can't make nothing. And if the people can't work, the people can't buy nothing. The robots are taking over. Machines, artificial intelligence, robots taking over. So you have to make sure you are clever enough to have a business idea that can't be replaced by robots. Make sure your business cannot be replaced by robots. Make sure your job cannot be replaced by a computer. Because I'm telling you right now, over the next seven years, any job that can be done by a robot or a computer will not exist. They are going to intensify poverty. They're going to intensify homelessness. Oh, yeah, I see and I'm going it to coming, tell you guys. What I think is going to happen. Y'all ready? White people going to rise up against the government. Oh yeah. Because poverty is going to become so intense that white folks are going to get tired of it. Poor whites, not you because you're scared of the government. They're not. That's Poor right. whites are going to rise <laughs> up against the government. I agree. Hey, it's Floyd Money Mayweather. Do you need health insurance? Then you want to hear about this Hold $0 on, dollar health insurance plan act. It's the government. Automation is going to destroy the economy because nobody's going to have a job and they're not going to be able to buy anything. See, this is what's wrong with capitalism. Capitalism is based on greed. Capitalism is based on greed. Absolutely. Capitalism is based on greed. And the problem with greedy people, they don't know when to stop. Absolutely. Greedy people don't know when to stop. So what happens when the only way people can eat is to steal and kill? What happens when the only way people can feed their kids is to steal and kill? Automation is going to be deaf to the economy. It's going to crush people's quality of life. 
it's going to mushroom homelessness. It's going to mushroom drug addiction. And I can't believe that nobody in the halls of Congress don't see the writing on the wall. Somebody should be saying we can't get rid of all these jobs. If we get rid of all these jobs, how are people going to live? They don't care. You can't turn everything over to the damn computer. Walmart laying off thousands of jobs. What is every is everybody going to drive Lyft? Is everybody going to drive Uber? Is everybody going to become a transportation security authority TSA worker at the airport? And I heard that might be turning into a computer. Mm -hmm. That they're going to have you walk through the computer without the people, mm -hmm. brothers and sisters. We got to get ready for this. And they're getting rid of the coins. How are you going to full automated society? And there ain't no pennies, no nickels, no dimes, no quarters. Do you see what they're doing? They are creating. They are forcing people. Forcing people into economic desperation. Yeah. They're forcing how you ain't gonna have no quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies. And you going to a full AI. Even McDonald's is laying people off. Walmart is mm -hmm. laying people off. Brothers and sisters, please don't wait to the last minute. Please don't wait to the last minute. If you are not in a skill that requires a human being. And see, this is another reason why y'all better be careful with that online education school teachers. Y'all better be careful with that online education school teachers. Y'all better be careful with that online education because they want every parent to homeschool so they can get rid of the teachers. So they want the kids to be taught by the computer too. I even heard that they're going to have robots doing the surgery at the hospital soon. Wow. They're going to have robots doing the surgery at the hospitals. Mm -mm -mm. So, brothers and sisters, let's get serious. And we have to create a community bartering system. We're going to do this at FDH. This is important, guys. Who join the Team Pan African Village. If you join the Team Pan African Village, you be part of the bartering system because we have to learn how to get our needs met without money. In other words, I cut hair. I cut your son's hair. You might take care of my laundry. You take care of the laundry. I might do your landscaping. You do the landscaping. I'm going to homeschool your kid. You homeschool my kid. I'm going to give you the food from the garden. So your family can eat. Your family can, my family can eat. I'm going to go through your roof. We have to trade services. All of us have services. All of us have services. We have to create an economy. That's right. Black people have to create an economy where we can exist without the dollar. Did y'all hear what I said? We have to create an economy where we can exist without the dollar. I'm going to say it again. We have to create an economy where we can exist without the dollar. It can't be digital currency because they can shut that down with a button. It can't be digital currency because they can shut that down with a button. It can't be digital currency because they can shut that down with a button. And I'm going to say this. And ladies, I know you don't want to hear this, ladies, but I got to say it. With full automation coming and the price of property going through the sky, real estate is going through the sky. Bill Gates has bought up all the remaining farmland for sale. Bill Gates has bought up the bulk of the remaining mm -hmm. farmland in this country, Bill Gates. And then another, was it Microsoft, who bought up all of, somebody just bought up the rental property. Somebody just bought up all the rental properties. Somebody just bought up all the rental properties or they turning all their properties into rental properties. But they're not a realtor company. So why would Bill Gates be buying all the farmland? And why would another corporation be buying up all of the real estate. You know why? Is this enough?
Okay. We're going to go ahead and stop it right there. I'm going to put I'm going to put that link Okay. I'm going to put the link to that uh, video, Umar Johnson's video, um, in my video in the comments or somewhere in there uh, where you can retrieve it and see the video in its entirety. Because he said quite a bit more, a few more things he said that was really important. And, um, you know, and take the meat and throw away the bones. But he said some really good stuff in there. And and real important stuff and, and going to be very helpful for uh, for us in this transition this stuff is real guys this is not a this is not play play this the, the system is crashed i just saw a video the other day where washington dc is everything is closed in washington dc that's what the, that's what the message said and they were specific they named each building and that it was closed you know from the white house to the lock the the, the library congress um, Washington D.C. They said is closed, and and it it's supposed to be. You know this system is really down. The only reason it don't look like it for many people is because many people are still holding on to it. So, but it's it's over. Everything it's over. Well, I'm looking at I'm paying attention to what's coming with the IRS. You know the IRS. We shouldn't have never been paying taxes in the first place. It's, 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 it's voluntary. We shouldn't have never been paying taxes. And so this whole shabam is falling down. It's crushed. It, it, it is. London Bridge is falling. And the sooner we realize it, we can pull away and, and let it go to a complete clump. <laughs> because that's what's, that's what's going to have to happen. And so Umar, he, he, he gave a lot of advice. He, he gave us a lot. We're going to have to go to a, to a border system. So that means, you know what that means, guys? That means we're going to have to start helping each other. Oh, yeah. Something that we've gotten away from. You know? It, this is going to put us in a place where we're going to have to start loving each other. We're going to have to start valuing each other. All of that good stuff. And I'm excited about that. Because y'all know me, those of you who've been on my channel for any period of time, y'all know I, I believe in that. I believe in, you know, we ain't got to be up close and personal, but you can love each other and help each other without being in each other's direct space, which we might have to do that for a while too. We're going to have to come together and work together, guys. It, it, is, it is no doubt, without a doubt, that, that that's going to have to happen. And what's happening right now is going to force us to. That's right. We're going to have to start helping each other. And so we might as well right now start being kind and loving and peaceful with each other. We don't, It's going to happen anyway. And it's a shame, it would be a shame if things have to go all the way down to the nitty gritty before we finally see that and realize that. And that might have to happen. But we can make a conscious decision right now. To start working together because it's gonna have to happen that's right because this 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 system is is crashed it really is but he he dr umar said a few things in that video and he you know when it comes to homes we should have been schooling our children in the first place we should have never let babylon get control of that so many things that we set back and we allow that we should not have. And it has cost us, you know, a lot because we did. Well, the universe and the Most High is fixing all that now. There's some work we got to do too, though. But they are, they're the ones that's got everything in transition. So we just need to get up and do our part. But I just wanted to come on and let you guys see that these things are coming the dollar is is fading away at some point here in the near future the dollar will be no good the dollar will be no good and if you don't have silver and gold and land if you know it's going to be very difficult and he mentioned about real estate yeah land real estate buying a house i don't know if he i don't i don't know if i let 
it didn't play long enough, I think, for you to hear him, what he talked about buying a house, having a house. You know, they've been trying to buy up houses, buy our land and houses. I get notices all the time uh, from these people that want to buy my houses, you know, buy my land, you know, and to the point to where it's turning to harassment. Family, keep your land, keep your houses, because it's going to come a time when People are not going to be, you're not going to be able to buy one. And if you got one, you're going to be the one that's blessed. You're going to be the one that's ahead of the game. So uh, I would advise, if if all possible, keep, don't sell any of your property now. Try, try your very best to keep your houses and keep your land. It's going to all come to play, guys, in the next few years. We're in a seven-year tribulation, uh, 2023 through 2030 and like he said and i i see it coming guys white people white poor people they're gonna rise up after a while they're gonna do it of course we're afraid to i'm just gonna have to be honest we, we don't we we have that warrior spirit but it's been settled so it's not gonna be us to do it it's gonna be white people white poor people that are that are tired they're going to rise up and maybe a few of us will trickle out there with them. But for the most part, it's going to be them that's going to start this, going to start this fire, this uprising. I know it's coming. He said it. I've been thinking it. So it's coming. It's going to get jiggy before it gets better. So get ready, get ready, get ready. Everybody, so I say everybody, many have been telling you how to prepare and guys, um, I have videos out there that I've done in this past year that's giving you uh, information on how to prepare and what to buy. And so, guys, we we got we got work to do. We're not gonna be able to rest for a while. Not rest, rest. You know what I mean. So let's let's get to it. Thank you again for coming. I'm gonna ask you again to like the video because when you like it, others can see it. Share it so that more can see it. I appreciate you so much. And click the notification bell so you can continue to get the content as I create it. Thank you so much for that. Going to sign out. Going to say assalamu alaikum to you. Shalom. Namaste. Ashe. 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 Going to ask you to keep your head up. Continue to vibrate high. Hug somebody. There's always somebody out there that needs a hug. And... Get your sun, guys. Always get some sun. Any chance you get, get that vitamin D. Peace be unto you, my beautiful souls. I love you to life. And until next time, I'm going to say bye-bye.